Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, I'm very excited to introduce you to one of the key features inside Metastock 19, and that is the new tab charting. So in this video, we're going to be covering all the new things that you can do with the tab charts right inside of Metastock 19. So let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look. So these are all the new features of Metastock 19. Where we're going to be focusing is really right here on the new and improved charting workflows. So we're just going to take just a few minutes, walk you through all these workflows, and show you how cool it is. Now, when we talk about the charting workflows, what we're talking about is ways that you can use charts and manipulate charts on a daily basis. Uh, you've always had the ability to cascade and tile and do different things, but this new tabbed format is very, very cool. It allows you to navigate your charts much like a browser. So you can kind of see here in my animation that I'm just clicking between the different tabs to see the charts. So a couple of things you're going to be able to do that I'm going to show you. It works like a browser. You can pin charts, drop access to charts, drag and drop ability, float charts outside the container, and horizontal and vertical tab groups. So let's go ahead and jump over to Metastop and I'll show you how all that works. Okay, so here's Metastock. I'm just gonna open up one chart to start. So let's just open up IBM, go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see it'll open like a tab. Now, because there's just one chart open, there's not much I can really do at this point. So let's open up a few charts to try, and try to show you some of these things that you can do. So we'll just open some automotive stocks here along with IBM. Okay, so you can see now I have multiple tabs open here. Now, the first thing I can do obviously is I can click between these tabs just like a browser, just how, how that would work. I can view my open charts over here, just like a browser where I can click and I can select any of the open charts. I can drag and drop these charts. So if I wanted to take Tesla and move it up to the front, it's now at the front. Okay, so if you're familiar with how a browser works, this is gonna be very, very familiar to you. Other things that we can do that are very cool. So I can take this chart and I can first of all, right click on it and I can pin it which means it'll move it to the front and keep it at the front until I unpin it. I can also just click the pin button there. And anytime I pin something, it moves right to the front. So a very cool feature there. Now with these tab charts, we get the ability to kind of drag and drop, like I said, where you can move them forward, but you can also take them out, which means now you can see that I have my tab chart out here now floating on its own. So I can actually take this chart, move it over to its own window and it can do its own thing. So it can live on its own, it's a floating chart. So if you want it in a separate window, kind of hovering, whatever you want to do with it. Other things I can also do is you'll see here that I have these little views. So if I just move my cursor, this chart around, it gives me an option where to drag and drop it. So if I wanted to put it right there, I've just set it up as its own tab group. I can then take this, right click on any of these and say, hey, I want it over in the other group. So I can just click on it there, moves it over there. So you can rearrange and move your charts as well. Now, another thing that you can do here is you can right click and make vertical or horizontal tab groups. But since I have vertical groups created, it's just letting me do that. So if I say a new vertical one, you can see it splits it out and makes even another group. So you can rearrange your charts and kind of make them however you want to. I just want to pull these out here really quick. Let's close all these and reopen just a few. We'll just do those automotive stocks again. Oh, well, I typed MG instead of GM. So that's okay, because it can we can still do what I want to do here. So if I right click now and do new horizontal tab group, it'll split it there. Then what I can do, because I can just drag this chart out and I can put it wherever I want. So I can kind of split these all up however I want. It's a really cool relationship with the tab charting to be able to do anything that you want. So what you'll want to do is just take these charts, play with it, play with the tabs, right click on them, drag and drop them. It has a lot of flexibility to it. It's a great way for you to be able to navigate these charts and have a new way to do it. Now, if you're used to the old views in Metastock, those are all still there. You can auto tile, you can cascade, you can uh, column stack, and we've put in these new two tile uh, formats for you. So if you prefer that old way of doing it, 
not the old way, the classic way of doing it, I guess I'd say, uh, you can still do that. So go ahead and take a look at that. Try it out. I think you're going to love it. And once you've tried it, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and give us a call 800-882-3040, 801-506-090, metastock.com slash sales chat, metastock.com, or email us at sales at metastock.com. I really hope you enjoy Metastock 19 and all these new charting features. My name is Kelly Clement. I'm glad you joined me today. Successful trading, everyone.